This video steps through the process of creating a CDX NetDMR account for the NetDMR signatory role. Creating a NetDMR signatory account involves first creating a CDX permittee signature account. You have to sign in with this CDX account each time you access NetDMR. Then requesting access to permits in NetDMR. If a user already has a CDX account, they may add NetDMR program services to that account. For example, a user may add multiple NetDMR program services if they manage NetDMR permits in more than one state. In your browser, navigate to https colon slash slash netdmr.epa.gov and click the link Create a New Account. In the drop-down menu, choose NetDMR Georgia Environmental Protection Division And for the user type, choose Permittee Signature. Then click Next. Enter your name and a job title. Then click Next. Now choose a user ID and set a password. Fields marked with a star are required. You'll also need to answer three security questions that will be used if you need to reset your password. Remember that the answers to your questions are case sensitive. Click on and read through the terms and conditions. Once you've done so, check Agree to the Terms and Conditions and click Next. Now you'll need to answer five NetDMR signatory security questions. These questions will be used for signing your documents electronically. Click Next. Now enter your organization name and the appropriate state. It's best to enter only a partial name to do the search. This should be your employer's business name. This is not necessarily the name of the facility holding the permit. If you work directly with the facility holding the permit, then you may enter the facility name. Click Find. If your organization appears in the results list, you may select it to continue. If your organization is not found, click the link Request that we add your organization. Now enter the requested information for your organization. Make sure you provide a valid email address and click Send Verification Code. Now check your email. It may take a minute or two for the email to arrive. Copy the code from the email, paste it in the verification code box, and click Register. You have now completed the core CDX account registration process. Click Continue. Now you have to go through identity proofing for permittee signature accounts. Make sure Yes is selected under Would you like to perform electronic identity proofing? Then enter the required information. Remember, you're entering your personal information, not that of a business or a facility. Read the signature agreement, place a check mark in the box to agree, then click Verify and Sign. If your identity proofing succeeded, you'll be taken to the CDX homepage. This is the page you'll always go to to get to NetDMR. Click on Permittee Signature under Role to go to the NetDMR access page. If you see that Permittee Signature is not an active link, that means your electronic identity proofing did not succeed. In that case, you would have to print, sign, and mail in a paper subscriber agreement. Contact the CDX Help Desk for assistance. Click on Permittee Signature under Role to go to the NetDMR access page. At this point, CDX account creation is complete. Next, you'll be requesting access to the permit in NetDMR. Now click Continue to NetDMR. In the top left, click on Request Access to begin the signatory request process. First, enter your permit ID. Then click Update. Then choose a signatory role from the drop-down menu and click Add Request. Your request will appear in the Access Requests list below. 
If there are multiple permits for the same signatory, repeat the above steps for each one. Check the permit IDs before continuing to make sure they're correct. Then click Submit. Choose your relationship to the facility. If you're employed directly by the facility, select Facility, otherwise choose Other. For example, if you work for a company that manages the facility, choose Other. If you are an RO employed by the facility, select the first radio button. An RO is a president, CEO, COO, VP, plant manager, plant superintendent. Operators and other job titles are not ROs and need to choose the second radio button and fill in the four pieces of information for the person who is an actual RO. Make sure to use the correct name, RO's title, telephone number with dashes, and correct email address. Then click Submit. Before signing electronically, Please note that if you entered a responsible official in the previous step, that RO must have a CDX NetDMR account with signatory access to the permit to approve your request before Georgia EPD can approve you as a signatory. In such cases, you may prefer to click Sign by Paper. You and the RO will have to sign and mail the paper ESA to Georgia EPD. If your RO has a CDX NetDMR signatory account for the permit, then you may sign electronically but the RO must log in and approve your request before EPD can approve your signatory request. Click Sign Electronically or click Sign Via Paper. The text of the electronic subscriber agreement will appear on the page. Click Sign Electronically. Now enter your CDX password, answer your security question, and click Sign. Since this is an electronic request, Georgia EPD usually approves the signatory role within 48 hours of the request being made. If you chose Sign by Paper, you'll be taken to this page. A pop-up should appear with the Subscriber Agreement, or ESA. Print this and sign where necessary. If you entered an RO's information, that RO will need to sign their section as well. Then mail all pages of the ESA with the original signatures to the address on the form. If the ESA pop-up does not appear, you may need to allow it. This depends on the browser you're using. Here are some informational links you may find useful about NetDMR and CDX accounts.